The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wood and sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info this man needs medical attention holmberg's morning sickness the old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail cruising right through you got five more minutes text the word cardinals 97936 that's what you do maybe a thousand bucks in it for you cardinals 97936 that's how that works. You got uh, four minutes exactly to get that in there. Toledo's manning the operation as we speak, and we'll have a winner. And then at eight o'clock, we're going to give you another word. Get yourself all loaded up. Maybe do it again. How about that? Thousand bucks out the door, and you can start gambling on your FanDuel app right away. And multiple emails have come in of guys in uh, arguments with their wives about the FanDuel already, <laughs> which I find hysterical. It's already causing argument. Guy on text. Wife told me as I'm leaving the house today, don't gamble the house away. Well, not till tomorrow. You don't have to worry. Today, <laughs> yeah. your house is safe today. Your DJ husband Enjoy the day. might blow it on the Bucks cowboys game, which would be the most disappointing thing. <laughs> they put up a thing. What was it? Uh, yesterday. When I, well, and I, I also, you know who did this again? The great Vince McMahon when he had his XFL thing before COVID. And on the, uh, on the lines of the games, he was putting gambling odds. Over, under, yards per game, things like that was part of the stat line at the bottom. So you'd watch the game and it would say like Texas hmm. versus L.A. here, And it would give you the over, under next to the clock. And uh, my buddy Colin pointed that out. He goes, that's genius because that's the future. Because the future is all online gambling and stuff. And people are going to want, like it's going to be part of the game now. Yesterday in the NFL Network, all the games saying, all right, we got the Cardinals taking on the Titans, uh, this, this, and this. Over, under is... The gambling stats were part of the preview. Wow. And it isn't just because Arizona's got it. It's now because they realize this is going to be a 50-state thing soon. We're all going to have it. Well, 49, Utah's, man, 40. Utah and Idaho are probably going to be the holdouts for a while, but they'll figure it out. But, yeah, now it's now it's part of, like, uh, well, Cynthia Freeland and that lady on NFL Network that does the crunching of the numbers that gives you the, I think Derrick Henry's going to run for 89 yards and catch for 68. The over-under on that for his yardage for the game is this. It's like, wow, these are gambling stats. I love it. I personally love it. Plus, we missed a day this week. So it's a half, uh, you know, we're already in Wednesday, Brady. Yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. And Wings Day is back. You buy 20 wings, you get 10 free all day, every day. Used to be all you could eat, but you guys took them. Took you housed them. Took them to school. <laughs> that drinking team showed up, and we can't do this anymore. <laughs> so 20 for 10 is basically what it is. But it's change still, it up, change it up, change it up. Wings. And by the way, heifers, if 30 wings isn't enough for you, for one of you. For one of you. I got 20, I wanted 10, but I wanted all I could eat. 30 wings is plenty. Dine in or take out. You know what goes great with wings? An ice cold Bud Light. It's Wings Day, Brady. Sure is. Thanks to our friends at Hooters and Bud Light. Brady reported. Good Wings Day morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Hi. Got a couple of baseless fun facts. The first movie to have an official website was in Red 1994. Dawn. Ooh. Mm. What would it be? Is it a good movie? Is it a big movie? The no, Rock. That's a no. No, it was all right. It's pretty close. 94 might have been right around that. Not them, though. No. no Kurt that's... Russell was a star. No, then it wasn't good. James Spader. Terrible movie. Kurt Russell and James Spader? Yeah, nobody's heard of that. Those remember remember things that things to do in Denver when you're dead or something? No. Stargate. Oh. No. Garbage. You know, it's officially Star Trek Day today. It's the 55th anniversary of the... Very first showing of Star Trek on television. Really? Yeah, September eighth was the day it launched. They tried to make a thing out of it, but since Star Trek sucked compared to Star Wars, it doesn't have the legs. I love Shatner. Yeah, I didn't get any. Uh, I didn't yeah, get the. No, it's not. 
September 8th is Star Trek. The only reason I know that is because I'm an idiot for TV knowledge, trivia stuff, and I saw that a while ago. And September 8th was the day before uh, my ex-wife's birthday. And I remember finding that out years ago when I was shopping for something. And it was like the 30th anniversary of Star Trek. I'm like, I'll get her some William Shatner stuff. (laughs) She didn't want it. I'll take it. Some of the names Disney considered for the Seven Dwarves included Chesty, Tipsy, Jumpy, right. Dirty, Sleazy, and Awful. You porn that. <laughs> you get the Seven Dwarves on Pornhub. They got it. The necktie was invented in Croatia. Their troops wore them as part of their uniforms in the 1600s. And when the French saw them, they liked them so much, neckties started... Appearing in France and like everyday wear. It's the French. Uh, they they turn it up a notch during war. Inch mm. a little couture at the yep. same time. I'm sure, the Americans invented the clip on tie. Oh though, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that. Yeah. Work uh, <laughs> smarter, not harder, Brett. <laughs> well, I got to tie all this stuff up, and I can just snap it on. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> Why are clip ons so classless? Why is that so? I think it's because the people who used them, you just assume they couldn't tie. But it yeah. is a better thing. I agree. Uh, it's, I mean, when you... Uh, you I know. went through a two- or three-year period of clip-ons at the Catholic school. We had to wear the Oh, ties. as a kid. Yeah, as a kid. It makes sense as a kid because yeah. you, you'd, you'd make a mockery of ties. Yeah. But as an adult, if you have to wear ties all the time, it seems to be the better way. Don't you think? Oh, that like if you're you daily know, doing the tie. Daily ties, it's smarter to clip it in there. And you might as well, you know, do the clip ons and uh dickies if you like wearing the turtle Dickies legs. are bad because they show. You can't really tell it's a clip on. Can you tell it's a clip on? No. No. I think the new ones you they, they really got a little thing that goes in. under there yeah. a little. Yeah. yeah. I don't I have no beef with Any the ties I have are, are pre tied because I can't tie a tie. You can't work. tie no, a tie? I cannot. Really? Yep. Revoke my man card. Nah, just do it. There's like never YouTube could. videos. I know, and I've, it'll take me 20 minutes to do it. I've tried no it. No kidding. Yeah, I cannot really tie a hard. tie. I just leave them tied and then just slip them over my head if I have over to wear one. Head. New you damn right. Slap it over and <laughs> clip it like that. I forget which one it was in Casino or whatever. There's a big guy that always doze off. Was that Casino or uh, Goodfellas? Know. He was That's at the bar story. and he's like, how long was I out? He's one of the characters, uh, side characters at the bar that they're meeting at. Hmm. I don't remember. Uncle Sid Brady or something saw a like different that. casino in Goodfellas than us. <laughs> Uncle Sid good, or I think it was. Sid. I think it was Goodfellas. Okay. It might have been a guy that well, was Brad has Goodfellas memorized. Yeah, so I'm not real sure. I'm not, I was like, oh. Maybe yeah. it's not then. I mean, right now, there is a loop of Goodfellas playing in his head. Yeah, and he's- I'm running the whole every, movie. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's, every bit of it. I don't know. It's your story. But I, there's a fat man who fell asleep a lot. Couldn't tie a tie. It's amazing you related. I'll take the movie. It's not good. <laughs> it's fellas. amazing. It was it's amazing not Brady remembers. Them. We know. <laughs> Again, I remember it because that's the only time I've seen uh, um, a, a couple of characters in Italian movies that would just fold it over nicely and put a clip in it because they're like they're they going to eat similar physique that I you know big neck. Oh, so it that what you call that? So it hit yeah. home. <laughs> okay. Where's the neck part of that big? I don't see it in there. I see big chin and then a chest. Thick. <laughs> <laughs> You're a thick man. Fax machines might finally go away. They're not gone yet? Yeah, no kidding. No, here's why. Hospitals still use them for test results oh. and medical records. A lot of medical info hasn't been digitized, so doctors still rely on paper records. It's caused huge bottleneck bottlenecks <laughs> during COVID. God, um, the big thing 30. about faxes can be hacked. They can't be hacked. People thought they're good. They're not. And... They still need the paper receipts because lawyers use them in. Oh, we can't just cases. print that stuff out. Um, that no, you can't. Scumbag lawyers. Why? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they need their receipts, <laughs> facts. Why can't you just email it and print it? They're trying to figure it out. That's why. Um, I think I just did. Well, if it ain't broke, it ain't. You don't try to f- fix it. That's why the fax machine <laughs> isn't. <laughs> I like you. It's still it's still <laughs> solid. There's something funny about messing that phrase up. <laughs> You'll find this interesting. A new poll found that women are more likely to control the remote. What? Inco- incorrect. Whose house is that? Yeah, not happening. 
Other than mine smelling like garlic and herbs for that sounds great. It, it, that was it's remote. I just turned it to cooking channels. I've never been interested before. Now the remote is garlic and herbs scented. And the average couple has two dust ups a month on over what to watch. Um, they say the average person spends twenty four minutes a week deciding which shows to watch. Another twenty five minutes on movies. So over the course of your life, you'll spend 112 days flipping through channels, exploring Netflix. That's why you got yourself a Kirby. Yeah. She comes in and tells everybody what they're going to watch. It's all right, oh, pirate, give me that remote control. It's Moana Marathon Night. The old bitch barn's clicking tonight, baby. Don't even have that problem. The kids are all on their yeah, tablets, phones, watch watching, doing twitching and porn. Rarely does a movie come up unless it, for me, it's Marvel or yeah. for Kirby. Well, you guys have family movie but, night. But then we have, yeah, uh, yeah, we do, we try to. Remote, though. We try to do that. In the bitch barn. Who controls the remote in the barn? Kirby. Me. Kirby. <laughs> come was, on. That was said with nice try, so pirate. little <laughs> confidence. I, 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 there's no traffic in there. There's no traffic interference. No, you're, no, you're allowed Kirby's in there in when they room. tell you. I'm in the bitch barn. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie's in the great room most of the time. Mm-hmm. Except for family Until movie we unite night. as one. In the bitch, in the barn. bitch barn. I prefer it and in watch a chair. Family in my movies room. in the bitch barn. Yeah. And you watch a, a bitch barn movie. What was the last uh, one you watched in there with what's them? What's the last man movie you watched? No, there? don't say that because he's got an answer. We are it, watching... Yeah. Once a week right now, What If. What's that? That's the new oh, Marvel. That's the new Marvel oh, animated gosh. cartoon series. And that's every Wednesday, I think. What was the last one you watched in that bitch barn that wasn't a Marvel movie? With them. With them? Yeah. That what? should have been out in the main room. The bitch barn should have never been tainted for this. Oh, it was probably Jungle Cruise. Oh, When's God. the last time? Burn out. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you Start had over. 70 inches of porn going on in your house? Yes. When's the last time you you uh, screen mirrored up some... 70 inches of porn? When's the last time you screen mirrored up... Without, some... without the dad joke coming yeah. for the 70 inches. Yeah. <laughs> You're cooking on that one. I'll get, I saw the wheels going. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, expecting... Zero. Never want screen... In your bitch barn. What? That makes it a bigger no, bitch barn a than ever. crime. Yeah, I've never put it up in the big screen. It's the whole point of having your own man cave and a 70-inch television screen. It's a new man cave. What can I say? It's not a man cave. <laughs> what can I say? There's too many women in it. Brett's been on the show still, for a year. Yeah. The man cave yeah, been there the whole exactly. time. No, it's the rookie year. It's been there. It's the rookie you should year. be yeah. tired from all the beating off. <laughs> you should just now be coming out of it like, I don't think I can watch any more porn in there. The whole point. That's just not on the docket. For some reason. I know why. There's a child and a woman in there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, in the, the house. The door's maybe. usually open, yeah. too. Yeah, and no in the lock afternoons, on the door. But then yeah. I end up binging some kind of Do you uh, shut show. the door when you're in there by yourself? I do. You do? Yeah, and but. And never once. Lock? Um, or, no, the doors don't lock. They could. They're about if, due uh, to be. a real man cave. Yeah. You do, to put a lock Home on Depot, there. I do have. Oh, I do have funny. a tie wrap on there, or, or a dog a safety thing that clips. And every once in a while, because the dogs will end up wanting to come in and. That's when you throw the porn on. Because they can open the door. <laughs> lock the door. Can. Really? Yep. You need to get some latches for this goddamn door. <laughs> I got. I got the latch on there. I just. Uh, you just have look, no need to because you're inviting look. all those ladies in there. <laughs> Look, I don't. I got my spots. The remote battery died and on the Hallmark Channel too. I hope no one comes into my room. Hallmark and seventy inches is come on, Brady. Ugh. You don't have a lock on the door. There should be. There should be a towel rack in there if it's a real man cave. No yeah. towel rack. Yeah, there should be a towel rack. Loads of Jergens lotion. We've got, we've got a, Kleenex. We've got a uh, waste. You're can. not using that. That's for no, that's no, Kleenex. No, girls for the crying. Watching yeah. for all the crying. For <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for Jungle Book too. It's, <laughs> it's gathered a lot of tears in there. <laughs> Has this ever happened in the bitch barn? No. What is going on in that room? That Nothing. man cave. That's should, the problem. It should Nothing. be just not a, a test. She thing. should be afraid to go in there because of the testosterone. They are. The carpet should be growing like oh little mushrooms. Oh my god! Ba- they are mushrooms. not afraid a bit to go in no, there. They're not scared of that room at all. They're in there kind now, of knitting. <laughs> No Only reason. reason they're afraid is if you're in there farting. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't in there. He takes that to the bathroom because right. he's Never classy. do that in the bitch barn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least you called it by the proper name. Yeah. <laughs> he's coming around. Finally. Finally. By the way, Brett, you're taking a beating on text. Yeah. Henry says, 
can't tie a tie but complains about the goddamn Olive Garden not being authentic Italian. <laughs> Who <true>. are you? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, a real Italian, Italian guys can man tie knows tie. how to tie a tie, Goomba. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, clown, you're the yeah. one that brought up the Olive Garden. You should be wearing a clip-on. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> It's going to be a struggle for you at the Italian American Club if you can't tie a tie. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> well, they're going to teach me. That's part. Well, they're going to try yeah. to hang him. Oh, <laughs> his ties pop right off. <laughs> yeah, you, they're going to have a class for that. You can't do this walking around here with that half a tie. Some- oh, Brady, nope. got to turn your mic back on. <laughs> I've got some pee pee poo poo news. <laughs> All right, go. I think go. There it is. Hello, my friends. I'm Brady Bogan, and this is your pee pee poo poo news. Do you sleep yeah. naked? Oh. Okay. I do sleep, yes. I sleep a doctor on TikTok named Tony Yown would like you to know it's disgusting to sleep naked. Well, it would be with him. Yeah, you're right, Tony. He says uh, all the gas we pass in our sleep. Oh, no. Which usually pains fecal mist. No. Oh, I knew he was going to A small go amount of fecal mine doesn't. Um, matter. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mine doesn't. You know why? He says the average person breaks I mean, wind 15 to 25 times a day. Yep. And some of those biscuits happen to be in our sleep. Right. So you end up lightly soiling your sheets each night, and that adds up. A week of naked bed farts. Wash your ass before bedtime. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. When you're coughing in your pants. Brady, when you're coughing in your pants, you're not farting. You're taking a shit. I'll argue with you all day. Wear underwear, because it's a filter. Good. That's great. Now keep it attached to you. If you've got... Drawers, might as well keep them up against you. How about wa- how about my advice, doctor? Wash your ass thoroughly before bedtime. And fecal mist means your it has nothing to do with a fart. If stuff comes out, it's not a fart anymore. There's particles in that gas. If you're leaving marks, wasn't a fart. That I'll argue with you all day. You are so excited about crapping and calling it a fart when you could just wash it. You know what comes out of my ass when I fart? Soap bubble. Sandalwood. Oh, it's, yeah, it's sandalwood. Sandalwood. Sandalwood and mint. Sometimes a little bourbon and sugar. <laughs> Got some good smelling soaps. You should be so lucky. It's like Barnwood Builders down there. It just smells like a lumberyard. <laughs> God damn, that's nice. Yeah. That's, that, it does. Shit lap. It's nice because it's spotless. You take a dump, you wash it with soap and water. You don't have fecal mist. Don't let Brady <laughs> lie to you about this anymore. If you've got it, you're taking dumps in your pants, and you're Jamie Lee Curtis. Wear underwear. Yeah. How about wear underwear? And what would you tell him? Wear colored underwear so you know the stains don't ah. show. Wash your ass. That's better advice. Another survey found dogs, uh, 41% of dog owners say their pets break wind when they're sleeping. A lot of times they're laying down. You don't now, put pants on them? Yeah. What's their fecal mist about? It's got all sorts of chuck wagon kibble in there. No fecal mist. Dogs keep it clean. They go back there and lick it clean. 75% of dogs also run while sleeping. Like they're dreaming and chasing a squirrel. 59% will bark in their sleep. 57% uh, sleep on their back with their legs up in the air. Kiva does that. Yeah. My dog. Got a couple of upside downers. That's your pee-pee poo-poo news. And fecal mist is Brady's dream, so he has excuses why his drawers look like somebody put bacon in them. <laughs> Clean, John. No, they're not. You argue with me all the time that they're not. Anybody that argues you shouldn't wash your ass all the time has dirty butt. You got rust butt. Nope. Well, then why do you argue with me about washing the ass all the time? That doesn't matter. What's you got thirty-five feet? You can't. You got about twenty-eight feet. You can't reach. Which Brady, within those twenty-eight feet, if stuff's coming out. From that 28 feet, if that first little, if the exit wound is covered in what's in the 28 feet, or if 28 feet is still blowing through me all the way out, I got a bigger intestinal problem than just gas. Yeah. I'm taking dumps in my sleep. Fecal mist, not a thing. Particles, molecules, sure, we're sucking those down all the time we can't see. Yeah. You're covered in bugs, too. But if you've got poop and you're worried about staining your sheets because you're farting, you're taking dumps in bed. You're yeah, you're going a little deeper on that. Right. That's what fecal but, mist but would be. The, if I put uh, the paper fecal particles in the gas. But Brady, if I thing. put paper, I can't do anything about particles. If I put yeah. paper behind your butt on a fart and held it up to you and it was brown, like a Jackson Pollock. You're running a little rich. And you said fecal mist. Who's winning here? Who's I think you just took a dump. Okay, take take the color out of it. 
Yeah. Whatever's on that if it's paper, wet, if it's wet, yeah, because you're trying to save it if color. A, if there's a clear mist, <laughs> yeah, you just took a clear Pepsi clean dump. Yeah, yeah. I always figure there's moisture in gas. Up there's no ass. moisture coming out of you when you fart. <laughs> not not quantifiable it make moisture. Sense though, there yes. is a little bit. No, it's called well, taking a butt mist. That's what comes when something comes out. You the want particles. this to be a thing so yeah, bad because his underwear looks like uh, like a bacon drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's normal. Taking them off right now, I'll show you. See? There's some mist. Has it to be. would not make sense that there would be quantifiable moisture. <laughs> yes, in the air, if a scientist yeah. got behind me with a bunch of uh, you know <laughs> beakers and things, and so there's a little moisture in the air, yes, maybe some humidity that can't be recorded. <laughs> but if I hold paper behind you and it comes up wet. That's a heavy mist. <laughs> there shouldn't be a mist. <laughs> Stop arguing with me about how mist comes out. You're making me nervous because <laughs> I sucked down some of your mist then, which means you've shot it into the air in yeah, here. Yeah, the other day. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we clean your chair every day after you leave. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I do know that. Larry yeah. does it. I do it. And there's yeah. sometimes there's like weird dirt it was and purple dust. For purple for a month. And like, I don't know what's going on. And it happened again. Yeah, and I don't know, know where, where that purple. comes from. Well, that's so. your fecal mist because you've got a, Maybe it is. You got a <laughs> unicorn in your ass and it comes out purple. <laughs> Stop fighting me on the mist. El Salvador, El Salvador became the first country to adopt Bitcoin as a national currency. The well, president announced late on Monday that his government purchased 200 Bitcoins. That's it? And then they bought another 150. Pop. This was last week. Bought another 150 um, last Tuesday. And they've accumulated a total of 550 Bitcoins. Okay. And As an entire that's nation. That's their country's yeah. wealth. And what they'll do is... Uh, $27 million. They're the, doomed. They need a new country. <laughs> yeah, they need to get out the of citizens there. will be able to download the uh, Chivo wallet, mm -hmm. an application created by the government, which will deliver $30 worth of Bitcoin to people to promote its use. Everybody gets 30 bucks. Yep. That should fire it up. <laughs> it's like well, the, 30 bucks there is probably like a half a million dollars. El Salvador. Yeah. Bitcoin is like, thanks, El Salvador. For it kind of dropped. When yeah, it died. <laughs> El Salvador is taking it serious, so. Uh, this guy was in his Tesla, and a guy walked in back of his Tesla and acted like he got hit by it. Yeah. But the Tesla's camera recorded it. Oh, I saw that. that, yeah. Yeah, the he guy flopping. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's a Tesla has cameras on all the time. I believe so. Or is it just a backup camera? The backup and camera, records. and they can tap into it and see. Does my car do that? No, I don't my think so, no. my my reverse camera is not recording. My, I don't do think it records. Mirror, do you have the mirror cameras? I don't know what that is. Your, your side mirror is on oh, something no. to give you that full round no, view. I still don't know how they that works. Okay. Yeah, that guy flopped worse than lamb beer back in the day. <laughs> and then you the guy, to, yeah. the guy just he, he put his foot up on the bumper, kind of, and the owner of the car kind of. Gets his foot off the bumper, gets back in the car, has to go forward two or three times to get around him and leaves. But the guy still Which, lies but, on the ground. So he did the car stop itself before it hit him, and then he just threw himself into it. I think he had started backing up, and then that's where the guy kind of goes and he brushes he, the car and acts the, like it hit him. The car should have stopped, no matter what. I I think so too. Right? But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, this is solid. <laughs> he does that. It's pretty great. The, the still shots are even better. It's after that ad, at least. Some, yeah, that's some hilarious. No, I don't care. Here I get it. Go. Oh, here it is. So the camera's on. It did stop. <laughs> the car did stop. <laughs> and even if it did hit him, I got my ID right here. Even right. if it did hit him, it didn't hit him hard enough to do anything. The thing was yeah. doing less than one. <laughs> Phone him one hand, ID one. out. Yeah, you guys, get your parked. foot off. I go run him over now. And what's the worst part? Like, had he walked into that car, it would have hurt more than what that car would have done to him hitting him. <laughs> that was a bad I'm decision. Calling the cops. <laughs> he just lay in there one more time. <laughs> it, there's, it's just such a. Oh, he did move. Oh yeah, oh. he moved twice and then just. Went on his way. See, it's Lambeer right there. It, boy, that is a flop. Yeah. Lambeer would be ashamed of that flop. <laughs> that dude's laying down right now anyway. Did he die? Is Bill oh. Lambeer still coaching? No, uh, he's still WNBA. Around, yeah. I saw him. They interviewed him, I think, last season, actually. What would you rather be, alive or coaching the WNBA? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll choose alive. 
On Sunday morning, the cops near Tampa, Florida, were in the middle of a standoff with an armed teenager on a rooftop. What? Then a 28-year-old woman named Jessica Smith drove right through the middle of everything in a golf cart, completely naked. Nice. It was a total coincidence. She had nothing to do with the standoff. They didn't coordinate? No. They had no, <laughs> no reason to be there. The cops initially tried to shoo her away <laughs> so they could focus on the standoff, but she refused and continued to joyride around the area. Nude. She was eventually arrested and charged with resisting an officer. Yep, completely naked. No kidding. Got photos? Um, she was drunk. Whoa. Hey, not bad. Miles Abbott was the was teenager expecting. in the standoff. She could lose yeah. a little, or use a little plexiderm on those eyes. They're bagging up a little bit There's for her Miles. age. Yeah. Miles is up on the roof with a gun. <laughs> yep. Miles, Miles is, uh, just left the pajama jam. Shot himself jam. He yeah. high <laughs> during the shootout. He, uh, he, he shot himself? Yeah. That's not much of a shootout. It's right there. It's unclear. He says if uh, he was aware that the naked, that he Jessica was riding around. Anyway, All right, it's 8 o'clock. Coyotes. Is the eight o'clock word nine seven nine three six coyotes, the hockey team, not the uh, smugglers. I don't know if you spell that the same way. Coyotes, uh, C O Y O T E S nine seven nine three six. Is it thousand bucks going out the door? You got forty minutes. Type in the word coyotes. Text it nine seven nine three six. Good luck. I know what you're going to say about this, but you know you've had the impossible burger. Ugh, possible to finish burger. Now they've got impossible chicken nugs. What's that? Not chicken is what oh. it is. I know, but they call them chicken nuggets that are made from plants. They're going to be available nationwide. Well, you're right. Your, your theory of stop making it try to taste like meat. If you don't want meat. Don't call it chicken. Don't start making all your vegetables to taste like our good food. Oh, plant nuggets. If you vegetarians are so in love with the idea of no meat, quit trying to make your food taste like yeah. ours. If it's so good, sell me the beans. Just eat the real thing if it's that yeah. good. If you're like, I don't know what you're doing with this meat, these be phenomenal. Fine, but you keep trying to make them taste like delicious meat because you know it's better. Meat's good. We have a, a fake faux chicken thing at the house in some uh, order that comes in. It's a you got to make it, but uh, well, Hello Fresh or whatever. I don't yeah. know which one we use. Sun Harvest. I'm not sure. You have to cut up all the ingredients and actually do the cooking. And one of them is a faux chicken. I'm fine with the vegetarian meals. Some of them are good. The bean taquitos are phenomenal. And, like, some of them are bean, but whenever they're like, this is the fake chicken that tastes like chicken, chicken, it's Call it plants. fine, but it's it's mush. Yeah. Plant and that, nugs. And Possible Burger, I had that once down at, uh, I got talked into By that accident, thing. right? That stupid. Oh, no. No, it was comedy down at club? the comedy club. And we're at a table, and we're like, we'll just get a burger. I'm fine with that. The Impossible Burger comes rolling in, and I swear to God, it was a homeless man's wet sock uh. <laughs> covered in black beans. And I'm like, what is I will never ever. I did the one at Burger King. Eh, you can tell because I side by sided it with a real burger, and that thing juiced up my fingers and all that. And the other one was just this grass clippings and turds. <laughs> John, Brady Brady's underwear, basically. Can, can we load Brady up with some Impossible Burgers? Because I know some guys with a slow mo camera. I'll paint oh. a white wall, put it on wheels. And we'll get Brady's bare ass out there just to prove this debate once and for all. <laughs> the fecal mist. <laughs> In slow-mo. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Look, Look at that sneeze. Cloud. No, because he'll still argue with me. That it's mist. Brady, it left a mark. That's... No, it's a mist. <laughs> hey, when you switch your Windex from mist to spray, does Windex still come out? Or is it just a mist of Windex? It's still a mist. Then you're... Yeah, you, know, you just then you tighten the same thing with your aim, tighten it up and mm -hmm. different oh, yeah. opening so you can mist dead spray. What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I'm trying to follow. Yeah, you're not gonna. <laughs> All right, good. He's he's lost okay, in his own you. abyss of, of. You just turn it to stupidity. the right, yeah. Brett. Just turn it to the right. Yeah. You want a steady stream? Yeah. Brady's got a <laughs> vice on his ass, so especially when it's when the bill comes. Get a lock. <laughs> That's to the right. You hear that? Tighten up. Woof. Either way. We'll end it with some radio videos. Good. The first one is uh, an old commercial. This doll, the laughing doll. It's pretty creepy. Perfect timing for By Halloween. By the way, somebody right just the emailed me and said, you know why Brady likes fecal mist? I just looked it up. It's a practical joke spray. It's a, you can buy fecal <laughs> mist. 
So he Look thinks it's joy. real. Because <laughs> of course it's a prop comedy. Prop I didn't comedy. know about the spray, but yes, I just you laughed at the uh, been, term. <laughs> fecal mist. Because it's a joke for unfunny yeah. people. to. I sprayed fecal mist. Stop it, Brady. <laughs> I do the real thing. Poor Ronnie. She should have her own bitch burn, and you're not allowed in. She's got to do your underwear. Does she wash it separate from all the other clothes, from all the mist? <laughs> She's usually out by the pool, and it's got a little board. And she scrubs it, hand washes it. That's when she's done washing the car. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I give her a little tongue bath. <laughs> doing some chores. I'm going to give her some mist. <laughs> Watch it. You misted my chin. <laughs> oh, God. That's mist. Not how that works. You make me sick. <laughs> Wash your ass, for God's sake. You've been fighting me for 20 years about washing her butt. Again, I got that bidet. It is squeaky. Wash it with soap. <laughs> if I covered your arm in poop and poured water on and it, then and then jet we, blast it, water, you would want clean. you would want clean. soap. Would you want soap or not? Not in my Brain, inner. Then you're disgusting no, another way. You can get infections that way. If I if you have crap what? on your arm, yeah. If you go if you go too far, I'm up. not talking about your butt right now. Listen no. to the question. Okay. If I smeared crap all over your arm. Yeah. And just and water it off. it with water. What would you want? Clean. Soap. <laughs> Be honest. The arm can take the soap. Your butthole needs you don't soap. Put the, you don't you soap up your butt? You put you soap on your finger this and you stick it up in there. Brett, you want to do a show somewhere else? Oh, man. <laughs> you don't even soap it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I walk, but I don't go up in there like you're, you're talking. You go do whatever knuckles you want deep in there. You need to. Wait, you no. put, oh. Yeah, because you're firing off juice. You put the bar of soap up your ass? I don't put a bar of soap in my ass. I'm a human being. I'm not a, I'm not a circus if animal. If you could. If I could, I would. But that's yeah. what you just, you just accused him of. Oh, he pretty much does. Don't put a bar of soap <laughs> up my ass. I don't use bars fingers. of soap. I use liquid soap. Delicious sandalwood, or again, as described, bourbon yeah. and sugar. Smells fantastic. You want in there? I'd let you go in with a spoon. No, you're coming out you. dry. <laughs> Still poop in there. There isn't, because you know why I know? Cleaned it this morning. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with, a, with a wet towel. Yeah, I don't. In you, the shower. You go in deep. No, I don't. You don't know how deep I well, go. Well, you just said your I go your in, finger up and go. And I pull out a clean piece. You know what I could do? You know what I could do that you can't do? I could take that thing out, fold it back up, and put it back on the pile, and no one would know, because it's spotless. <laughs> You wash your ass with soap. Yeah. Why do you fight it? I don't fight it. You do, because he even tried to fight me when I said if you got it on your arm, you wouldn't use soap, just to try to make your stubborn point. The outside's fine. You you don't (laughs) soap the inside. You soap all around where you can get to. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's saying you don't soap up the... Yeah, I think you you can soap a little in that area. I (laughs) I think that's what he's saying. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm saying. You can soap it. And you can also take a little water thing and go, <laughs> drain it a little bit, then start the washings. Just like you'd want a woman to do if you were going to play back there. Tell so me you get the turkey baster out and there. go to yeah, town? Or I've done that a few times in my life. <laughs> Make sure everything's you know up to snuff in case somebody wants to play some games. Colonics. <laughs> you never know. How bad would you feel if Ronnie decided to get a little adventurous and start to go the... Uh, you know, yeah. with the old filthy. Salads. Yeah, yeah, starting to do salads or maybe even uh, like she lost her keys in there. I only go in about a quarter inch. <laughs> you got 28 feet of poop starting right at the edge of the door all the way in. No, you clean that out. You should go in there. Like, what, what's with the license plate clean in the boot? That's right. Brady, He's your big shark. ginger ass looks like a carrot top <laughs> eating you. a caramel That's brownie. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He fights me on washing poop off his body. It just tells me it's gross. Russ butt. You got Mississippi mud butt on the Not red because you're close. afraid of your own butt. Get to know you. Get in there. You're 50,000 years old. Get in there. You're never going to. What if you like it? Walking around with a clean ass. You wash your ass. Yeah. Damn right. Toledo? Washed it this morning. Brady? Yes. No. You took a dump, <laughs> you took a dump after your shower and no, you went I didn't. to work. Nope. 
Did you take a dump this morning? Yeah. And then I get in the shower. After? Did you take one before yeah. bed last night? A dump? I did not last night. You didn't take a dump before you went to bed at any time? Didn't. Usually okay. I do. Yeah, I was going to say, you got like five day. Yeah. But normally, well, too, you, too, go to, you, you go to bed with rust butt. Um, no. You take dumps don't so. and don't take showers. <laughs> no, again, I feel it's plenty did, of answer clean the with the bidet. The, the, I didn't ask you if it was yeah. clean from your squirt of water. I said, do you take dumps and go to bed without a shower and soap? Yeah. Rust butt. Yeah. I rest my case. You. <laughs> That's rust butt. It's a definition of it. <laughs> I'm a microbiologist, hey, uh, and you do not soap up inside your ass. Thank you. Okay. Only the crack thank of your you. ass. Brady is no, the I'm... one accusing me of doing this. I, I go, well, that's how you, you let say me tell. No, in your, I know. Do you want the there. truth? Do you want your story? <laughs> yeah. I go in, clear out the mechanism, then soap. I don't pour soap in my ass. I cleanse. I get everything out yeah. that's on the edge, and yeah. then soap. You, <laughs> good night. <laughs> no, let me tell the truth. No, you don't go in. I already know your. I already know. I already know your truth. If you got poop on your arm, you wouldn't wash it off with soap. I already know I your truth. I blast it with water, and I believe that the water is- blasts that area. You do. Clean. You believe Absolutely. that Because that skin Incorrect. is completely Watch different it. from the skin on Incorrect. your arm. Correct. <laughs> right. And when you and when you yeah, blast, that's why you don't you blast the outside. There's stuff. No, yes. no you don't. Not on you the... open up. I know I do. You, you. And the bidet. You squeeze it absolutely. open. Absolutely. I don't. And it goes it into absolutely. That's when it. For sure. That's what you do. Do you have confidence right now if I put this in you that it would come back clean? Yeah. You <laughs> lied to me. Yeah. You're a liar. Oh, yeah. You could fist me right Go now. Go to town. <laughs> I, I would, too. If you're serious, I'll do Go it. Go to town. Take your pants off. <laughs> I'm not, there's no finger right, going. Go nothing's off. going into my head butt. Head, headphones are off. And this is why you don't want anything in your butt. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm going to be clean. I'm not. No. There's <laughs> no soap. He's got to. Oh, he's ready. Let's go. That's a sanitary no. wipe. That's a sanitary wipe. Maybe it'll come out. <laughs> I didn't say I'd do it. I said you could do it. And I'd be... <laughs> for, no, slips, no fingers slips. going in. No <laughs> a confident man would let me finger him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not confident. I know. That's very clear. You keep blasting away there. <laughs> that blasting is awesome. I take the time to go in, make sure that the just outside the screen door, everything's the porch is swept. Yeah. Then you soap. So this guy says, I'm not going to lie, John. I have one special loofah. It's in the corner of my Your shower. But so That's for my exactly. ass. Exactly. You don't wash Give it. Give it a good scrubbing. Surprisingly, also feels great. Hashtag clean butt. Yeah. Hashtag clean butt all day. I don't know who fights me. I do know one guy who fights me on that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's clean. It's not clean. Well, then let me see. <laughs> let me put a finger in my butt. I know why. <laughs> You're like the doctor from Cannonball Run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Let's do this. God damn it, you leave Brady alone. I'm going in. <laughs> Just saying. Soap and water is not a bad thing for your bee hole, and I know you're not doing that. You're too afraid of it. Your Brady. religious upbringing makes you think that's gay. Brady, I'm going to let you in on something. Even my autistic 12-year-old has to shower after pooping. Yeah. Clean yeah. your ass, Brady. Yeah, and he's autistic. Brady's worse than that. <laughs> Autism can function. Now, you made me also picture something horrible as you spread cheeks over some yeah. sort of oh. hose you've got attached to your toilet. <laughs> Ugh. How many times Good you jets mi- play. How Ugh. many times you missed before you got the angle just right? You, got, you have uh, two directions. It has uh, left and right, so you can... Double spray. So again, my, my side. question remains: what holes do you have? How many how many misses did you get before you got the angle just right? Oh no, you you, you can figure it out. Believe yeah. me, you know when it's. I've had the bidet there. action, and yeah. you know what's great about it? It you does do a good job. After. Then you get in the shower and you soap up and make sure everything's good. Because soap <laughs> and poop, kind of my thing. <laughs> and anybody who fights it has rust. Butt. <laughs> you need soap after a poop. That's it. Period. And I don't hear no, from construction guys. No, the word is not soap. No, I'm sorry. The word, yeah. <laughs> the word should be rust butt. Spelled B-R-A-D-Y. But it's coyotes. <laughs> As Brady continues to smuggle turds around in his underpants. Yeah.
Coyotes. That's the word. Nine seven nine three six. Get to your videos. You've, you've angered Jesus, me. John, take Brady out to dinner first, man. Never. <laughs> I would never take him to dinner. Do you know what kind of mess I'd have him? I'd have ants on the log if I took this guy to dinner. Oh, I forgot we didn't even do the videos yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got lost. Well, because Brady wanted to get fingered and then he backed out. <laughs> I'd have Here's done the it. creepy doll. <laughs> Ew, good God, I don't like the look of this already. Laugh a lot. What is that thing? <laughs> Baby laugh a lot. Oh, that is a horror movie waiting to happen. <laughs> look at the girl's oh head, the actual. <laughs> it looks like its head's on backwards already. <laughs> She's a lot of bad talent. She push the button and she starts to giggle. <laughs> oh my God. Get baby laugh a lot by Remco. <laughs> what in the world was that? <laughs> Ooh. It says the company went bankrupt movie. in 1971. Yeah, because too many people died. <laughs> no, you nice. can get one on eBay. You can get a baby laugh a lot? Yeah. How much? 100, 145 bucks. 120. Does it still work? Uh, let's see. Does she still laugh? Or has she been saddened by the There's one that works for 500 bucks. Oof, jeez. That's right order. You do a reenactment of the commercial. No. I don't want to see that thing. This one's fishing with your dog. Okay. This black lab does a pretty good job fishing. He's chumming the fish. He's oh, throwing he's a little piece of Those little red bluegill? balls in there. Like, oh. yep. <laughs> baby. Who care? Oh! Yeah, baby, yes! 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 Good boy! Take it to the oh, fish you have that one, that dog I did last week for the uh, Lost Our Home Pet Rescue could do stuff like this. He was intense. The That's shepherd? a German Shepherd. Yeah, the yeah. Shepherd. Yeah, the baby, let's go. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Next one, some hillbilly fun on oh, a wave runner. This is bad. Chugging a beer. Oh, it happened. <laughs> oh. She was just riding you reverse cowgirl on the Yeah, side. and then pours the beer the- down gullet. Oh, she's feeding him a beer while they do oh, a wheelie. Yeah, she is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nothing better. <laughs> nothing better than pouring beer into the guy driving's mouth. Wow. Got it. <laughs> nothing better. Yep. Nothing quite says south. <laughs> and why don't I pour alcohol in your mouth while you drive around and I sit on the front of the vehicle? Great idea. Pretty good girl on a rope swing here. Here we go. Done release in time. Coming back for it. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! <laughs> you got to let go of the rope or you're going back into the rocks. <laughs> oh! Oh! Is she fat or is she in a coat? She's, she's in a, a, she's in a oh, life preserver. Oh, oh man, good thing. But she lands in glorious blue water. It is beautiful. Where are they? I'm not sure. I don't think she knows where they are. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, she's... Good Lord. <laughs> Protocol. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely got some CTE from that. The last one is a cool little uh, domino setup. Pretty elaborate. I have no idea how long it took this person to put it together. They're little round dominoes. Yeah, the first, and then it goes into some kind of like cards. Rube Goldberg, is that what this yeah. is? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, these are cards, aren't they? Yeah. Cool. I love this stuff. I have since I was a kid. This is Brady's large intestine. Yeah, that's a starfish. <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're just in filthy. This last little oh wheel is goodness. amazing. Watch Look this. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. That's, that's cool. Great. That's pretty there cool. You. That's, that's awesome. I love those things. Those are really cool. Yeah. I, I don't know why those Rube Goldberg things always get me. I think it's because I never, and everybody who's ever gotten dominoes, like six at a time. That's why you love the game Mousetrap. It's done the knockdown. Did you ever play Mousetrap? Mousetrap always broke. It did? The trap always broke. Mousetrap. Always did. Nailed it. Our, our cage always hung and then would go sideways. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, wash your ass, everybody. Coyotes. Brett, go watch real quick, because I know you want to. <laughs> After those stories. Barbecue sauces he's eating. Imagine how... Ugh. Cheese. In a way, I'm glad he didn't let me go in, because I know how to come back with a <laughs> full-up peanut butter parfait. Show would have been game. over. You'd have had no shower. <laughs> <laughs> Run home. Oh, no. I'd just go out with a hose and hose off my right, finger, because that's enough. I forgot. <laughs> I'd cut off my entire fingernail. <laughs> Coyotes, that's the word. 97936, that's what you shoot for. You get 1000 bucks. You got 20 more minutes. Get another $1,000 out the door. KSLX was bragging they had four winners for their national contest. <laughs> we have six every day because we're not allowed to play with you guys. 
Uh, and you're welcome for getting out of your way so you guys can play pretend like you're kings for a day. Fun. Uh, but you guys can win a thousand bucks right now. Coyotes, nine seven nine three six. There goes your Brady Report brought to you by Hooters and Bud Light. Right, man. We should do this thing. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric's Family BBQ.com.